Hey everyone, today I'm going to go over waterproofing your quad. Um, what we're going to be using is the conformal coating. You can get this on Amazon for like $20. And it's like um, a silicone um, paint almost. Like you just paint it on and it dries and it stays like dry to the touch and everything like that. Where if you use something like Corrosion X, it gets tacky. Um, and it kind of gets real messy. So this is kind of a cleaner way to waterproof your quad. And I'll just go over um, putting on a couple things here. The first thing I'm going to put it on is my little receiver. Um, this is an XM Plus. And I haven't done this before, so <laughs> kind of learning together. But let's see, I'm, as far as I know, I mean, you just put it on there and go from there. So let's go. It's kind of nice because it comes with a, like, a little brush. Um, you might want to ask your girlfriend to help you if you have any issues because it's pretty much like painting your fingernails, I would guess. I'm kind of just going over the whole thing here. It's a pretty strong smell, so you might want to be in a well-ventilated area. So I'll just do this. I guess that it dries clear, but I guess there's supposed to be like a blue, like a blue tint in the sunlight, and it's like UV protection. All right, so I did one side on there. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to put that to the side and let that dry. And then I'm going to get started on one coat on my VTX. This is a Dytone SP3 um, VTX. I'm going to get started on this one. Make sure you get pretty much every inch of it. Um, once it dries, you can get a UV light, and you can see if you missed any areas or not. It feels really strange putting liquid on circuitry. And you can put one or two coats on if you want, depending on what you want. I'll probably just stick to one good one. I think that'll be plenty. Alright, now I'll put that one to the side too. And let that one dry. Because I got all kinds of stuff to do here. Um, Alright, one of the next things I'm going to do is my ESCs.
the nice stuff about or nice thing about this stuff too is you can solder right through it so if you need to get take any of these wires off you can just unsolder it and then after you're done just reapply this stuff You can tell when it starts drying because it gets a little tacky. Alright, so I just got it all done putting on all my components. Um, I fly in the winter a lot, so I'm kind of preparing for, for for that with this build, but um, it was pretty straightforward. I kind of did it like a crosshatch pattern just to make sure I covered everything. Um, but it dries relatively quickly, and when it's dry, it kind of looks wet still. Kind of gives it a shiny look. But um, if you have any questions, uh, leave them below.